Staff and residents at long term care facilities will be some of the first to get the coronavirus vaccine. Kaylin Hagwood has more from a Sumter nursing home preparing to receive the shots. It's been a long nine months for residents at Covenant Place of Sumter as the pandemic lingers on outside their walls. Our folks here are very vulnerable people. We have lots of people with underlying medical conditions. Up until now, protecting those at the retirement community has often meant separation from family and friends. Then the news of a vaccine. We can't wait to get it. Rip Linder is the executive director here. He says their nursing and assisted living residents and staff will have the chance to take it first. We will do the clinic here. There'll be three separate clinics so everybody will get a chance to take it. We have already turned in the number of, of vaccines that we need and they will bring the vaccination out to us. We don't have to provide any staff to give the vaccination. That will all be done with us through CVS Pharmacy. Some worry what could happen if they get the shot. There is still some hesitancy. Others worry about a future without it the solitude, the being isolated. They're just looking forward to seeing people again. Linder says he'll be the first in line. And hopefully that'll encourage people that it is safe. And although the shots won't be mandatory here, he's hopeful that the impact will be long lasting. I think it'll make a wonderful difference out in the public and the less exposure that they have for people that could transmit it, the better off they'll be. Leaders here at Covenant Place say they're expecting the vaccine before Christmas with the hope that it'll be the gift that brings families closer together in the year to come. For Street Squad Sumter, I'm Kaylin Hagwood. Well, as you know, Pfizer's vaccine is given in two doses. Lender says those who get the first round will have the second shot waiting for them in just under a month.